This lesson, Goal 2.1, Solving Non-Fraction Equations with Variable on One Side with Grouping Symbols, is very much like Goal 2.1, with one exception. You have to eliminate the, front, the parentheses first, and then do what we did before. So we're going to eliminate parentheses by using our distributive property. We're going to look for collect like terms on the left side of the equals. We're going to add or subtract our constants so that we can get the x term alone and then divide if necessary to get x alone. So example number one, we distribute to get rid of our parentheses. Positive three times positive two x is positive six x. Positive three times minus six is minus 18 equals 30. Once we do that step, then it's just like goal 2.1. We're gonna move our 18. Because it's minus, we're gonna plus 18 to both sides of the equals. So my 6x comes down, my 18s cancel. I add this and I get 48. Last step to get the x alone, divide by six. That cancels out and x equals eight. So again, very methodic, one thing after the other. Question two, I distribute negative six times one x negative 6x. Negative 6 times positive 1, negative 6. Equals 24 comes down. And then we get our x term alone by moving minus 6. To move minus 6, we plus 6 to both sides of the equals. So my negative 6x comes down, that zeroes out, 24 plus 6 is 30. Lastly, get x alone by dividing by negative 6 on both sides of equal. That cancels out because it equals 1, so x is alone, and 30 divided by negative 6 is negative 5. Question 3. Get rid of the parentheses first. So positive 2 times positive 3x, positive 6x. Positive 2 times positive 7, positive 14. Everything else then comes down as it looks. Because I have like terms on the left side of equals, I can combine those together. So as it looks and as you read it, 6x minus 2x is 4x. Plus 14 equals 18. Get your x term alone by subtracting 14, the opposite of what you see there, subtracting 14s on both sides of equals. So my 4x comes down, my 14 zero out, 18 minus 14 is four. Lastly, divide by four on both sides and x equals one. In my next question, I distribute to get rid of the parentheses. Two times positive x, positive two x, two times positive five, positive 10. And I bring down the rest of the equation minus three equals negative nine. 
collect or combine your like terms, which is the 10 minus three. So my two X comes down, 10 minus three is positive seven equals negative nine. Get the X term alone, which means we need to get rid of plus seven. So we're gonna minus seven on both sides. So two X comes down, those cancel out. Negative nine minus seven, negative 16. Divide by two on both sides and X is negative eight. Negative 16 divided by two is negative eight. Here, my distribution is not at the start. So we do this first. The other parts of the equation come down. So the negative two X comes down and I distribute positive five times positive four X is positive 20 X. Positive five times minus eight is minus 40 equals 14. We combine like terms. So 20 X minus two X or minus two X plus 20 gives me 18 X minus 40 equals 14. We need to isolate the X term, which means we need to get rid of minus 40. So we're gonna plus 40 to both sides of equal. So my 18 X comes down, that gives me zero. 14 plus 40 is 54. And then divide by 18 to get X alone. And 54 divided by 18 is three. Same thing here where my distribution is not at the beginning. Be careful though, because we will be distributing a negative. So my seven X comes down, negative three times positive X is negative three X. Negative three times positive five, negative or minus 15. Combine your like terms collect, add, whatever word you like. So 7x minus 3x is 4x minus 15 equals positive 5. Get the x term alone. To do that, we need to move my minus 15. So we're going to plus 15 to both sides of equal. My 4x comes down, that gives me zero. Five plus 15 is 20. And then lastly, divide by four on both sides of equals. That cancels out. And x equals 20 divided by four, which is five. And then the last one, oh, not quite the last one. The last, second last one has two sets of distribution. Five times X, five X, positive times positive. Positive five times positive seven, positive 35. Positive four times X, positive four X. And positive four times minus eight is minus 32.
and then I collect like terms. This is the first one where I've had two things I can collect. First, I can collect my x's. Positive 5 plus 4 is 9x. 35 minus 32 is positive 3 equals 32. And then we're going to get our x alone, x term alone, by minusing 3. So my 9x comes down, 32 minus 3, 27. I'm sorry, 29. And then divide by 9 on both sides. Now, when I punch that into my calculator, 29 divided by 9, I get a really bad decimal. So we're going to leave it 29 over 9. So if I get a repeating decimal on my calculator, we leave it as the fraction. All right, in my next one, watch your positives and negatives on this one. Positive 7 times positive 2, positive 14x. Positive 7 times minus 3, minus 21. Watch your sign here. Minus 3 times positive 4, minus 12x. Minus 3 times positive 1, minus 3 equals negative 2. Collect our terms that are alike. 14 minus 12 is positive 2x. Minus 21 minus 3 is minus 24. Equals negative 2. Get your x term alone. So we're going to add 24 to both sides, plus 24 on each side of equals. My 2x comes down. Those cancel out. Negative 2 plus 24 is 22. And then lastly, divide by 2. 2 over 2 is 1, leaving me x. 22 divided by 2 is 11. And now the last one. Distribute negative 8 times positive 1, negative 8x. Negative 8 times positive 3, minus 24. Positive 5 times positive 3, positive 15x. Positive 5 times negative 7, watch your signs, minus 35, equals 4. Collect, combine, add, whatever word you like, your like terms. So minus 8x plus 15, so minus 8 plus 15 is positive 7x, minus 24 minus 35 is minus 59 equals 4. Get your x term by itself, so I'm going to plus 59, the opposite of what you see there, plus 59. So 7x comes down, those cancel out, equals 63. And then lastly, divide by 7. So my 7s cancel, and x equals 63 divided by 7, which is 9. So again, very much like lesson 2.1 with one additional step getting rid of the parentheses using your distributive property.